coming to the line. Been a closely contested game so far. The scores 7 to 0. The Seahawks from the 22. And the reception by Doug Baldwin. Second down and 13. And incomplete as Baldwin can't hold on. Well, but it's third and long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. Failing to connect their third down. Wilson's got everybody split out wide. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Wilson with the reception. Another third down stop right there and into the second quarter of play now. We really haven't seen this offense on track quite yet. Yeah, let's give all the credit to the defense. I like how they're playing on the defensive side. They're, the defensive coordinator's making good calls, and they are making it happen. The Seahawks believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 30. And it's knocked down. That is called rolling the dice, and that's what it is. It's a big gamble by the offense and the coach. You go for it on fourth down, you don't make it, now you're going to pay the price. The Lions offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out and got it done. Second down and a long way to go. Intercepted! Tackles made. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Seahawks offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return to big skin. And they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. You're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding it the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. Russell Wilson has it under center. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 30. Flip to the outside. And that'll gain just a few yards. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. It'll be third down. The Seahawks are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Back to the ground. Now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. The Seahawks will go for it here on fourth down and short. Wilson's lined up, two tight end set. The Seahawks turned the ball over on downs. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. 
The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Extra point was good. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks really let it all hang out the last time they had the ball filled. They went for it on a fourth down to their own territory. Let's see if they're a little more conservative with this possession. Well, you know, it's amazing. I want to say really a good defensive call by the defensive coordinator, but let's be honest, when you're backed up and you go for it on a fourth down situation, situation like that, anybody could have made that call. So just a bad, bad decision on the offensive side. If there was a beat writer covering this coach, what do you think the headline would be to borrow in his story? It'd probably be the first time I've ever agreed with the beat writer. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can, and one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. And that gains a few. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Look at those linebackers shifting around, trying to confuse the quarterback. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle, and now we have fourth down coming up. The Seahawks elect to go for it and bypass the punt on fourth down. Wilson's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. The 37 is the line of scrimmage. The Lions come out with a split backfield. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Right there to make the tackle. The Lions are up right now, and credit goes to the quarterback here, partner. Stafford's had a very solid opening half. He sure has, and then people are getting open down the field, Jim, and he's right on target. He's feeling it. He is absolutely in the groove. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. The Seahawks call a timeout, their first. Coming up to the line at the two. First and goal. Touchdown, Detroit. That's his second touchdown today. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. And the point after is good. The Lions now ready to kick the football down the field. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line.
Wilson's alone in the backfield. First down at the 22. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Second down now. Jim, I think this is a blitz. Look how close everybody is to the line of scrimmage. A good first half of action here, and soon we'll be sending you to Orlando and to our host, Larry Ridley. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The second half kickoff is a comeback in the cards in this one-sided affair. The Lions back on the field with their offense now. They've scored on each of their last two drives and have to be feeling pretty confident right now at the start of this one. Yeah, isn't it amazing what the mind can do sometimes on the football field? You go out there and you score and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see them to go out there and have success again. The quarterback. He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. The third quarter begins with this play. And that's a gain of maybe five. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Stafford's now completed four in a row. There's a flag out. The defense, a little jumpy right there. The line of scrimmage is the 33. Stafford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Stafford's got no one behind him, just the quarterback waiting for the snap. First down at the 30. Makes the catch in open space. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route when we were kids. That's what they call it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. First and goal from the five. Slashing to the right side. Not able to get away from Chancellor. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. Second and goal from the three. Over to Ebron. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. This is going to be a true statement win for them today. They are serving notice to the rest of the NFL that this is what they want to do the rest of the year. And that is be sharp on offense, be physical and all on defense. And this is what can happen. You can win in a blowout. out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Seahawks offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think you need to try a few different ones here in the second half. That's a gain of six. If you give him the chance, he will run the football. That's what he did that time. He tucked it in there and ran up the field and got a few yards. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 30. He'll throw it over the middle. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Jackson lined up as the single back. Takes the hit. We still have more than a quarter to play here, Phil, but this defense shows no signs of wearing down. I think we're surprised by this, really. We didn't expect them to 
just dominate all day long. And so far, it has been total dominance.